just dig in his beard and find something real quick and eat it. Get a little hungry, just pick something out of that beard. It may be rotten, it may be a day or two old, but come on. Jason, be thankful. How can he hear him? Remember that one time I found a sunflower seed in it? Jason. Yes. Good job. Yeah. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. Friday, and uh, just got out of our what we call our coordinator facing meeting uh, and really this is about 12 hours of information that we pack into a two hour meeting every Friday morning but a large focus of that is on recruiting so many of you um, are either looking for opportunities uh, in that you are looking for a new job others of you are in the process of hiring people and so with our recruiting uh, process we've got it really really uh, down to a science over the last 12, 18 months. Uh, we put through people through a process where they submit uh, a resume, they answer some essay questions. From that step to a phone interview, uh, we take them from there if they move forward to a um, personal uh, profile, uh, profiling assessment tool. From there, we then have our entire coordinator facing team, which is kind of like our executive team here in the corporate office, um, review a video that they submit. We then take that and the feedback from that, and if they move forward, they go to a face-to-face -face interview with our um, chief uh, learning officer and from there we take them and make a final decision on them so it's very detailed but we have an insane opportunity with the career with our company and we don't want to put someone in that that it's not the best fit for them or us it's not just some churn and burn like hey submit your resume okay great you're hired because you have a pulse we want these people to be real and authentic because that's the only way we can understand who they really are you know, what do they believe? What are their values? What are their, um, what are their aspirations uh, in life? And if that's something that we think that we can lock arms with them and help them do that, great. If we don't, great. What's the number one concrete thing? Attention to detail is probably the most important thing when someone's submitting a resume or submitting a video. Like if we say submit a one minute video and you send us a seven minute one, so uh, that's a big chunk of the meeting that we just got out of. Uh, now it's just kind of a grind of, of setting up uh, some of my business that I'll be writing for the next few weeks. And then this afternoon, we've got our webinars that we do bi-weekly. Uh, we've got one with just our leadership, which is at 3 p.m., and then 4 p.m. with our entire field. So we've got 70, 75 coordinators across the country uh, that we'll have on that webinar and get a little bit of an insight into some of the culture within our company. Um, it's, it is a work hard, play hard. We like to have fun, but it is very serious when it comes to um, competition and when it comes to uh, people putting in maximum effort. <laughs> Do you right, choose the red or the blue one? <laughs> So what are what's going on right now? I'm gonna take the uh, red so pill. Leadership webinar. I'm gonna take the blue pill and go right back in to eating that nice steak inside of the matrix. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we're done with the music, man. It's time to rock and roll. Yes. <laughs> yes! Whew. I have a new lease on life. Uh, it is Friday webinar number two for the year 2018. Hi! And we have exercise the demons. What you do now echoes in eternity. That's a fact. I'm telling you. What you do now echoes in eternity. I want to know that people are living life to its fullest, that they are sucking the marrow out of this life, that they are seizing the day. But I find that if, if we don't understand that 
that we're literally getting done in the time we work, we're literally getting done 10% of what we could have gotten done. 15% of what we could have gotten done. If somebody even gets 50% done of what they could have gotten done, they're multimillionaires. But if they get 100% done of what they could have gotten done in that span of time, then it makes when you're off, off, right? It makes when you're on, on. We're always worried about this and worried about tomorrow, but never sucking the time out of the like this minute. So the, the problem with that is that the majority of our coordinators are living in the middle of that. That's right. And so the key there is you have to go put the work in first, then you can go do that. Because until you're on 100%, you can't afford to be off. Because you'll never be off. Because you'll have that pressure, that that overwhelming stress of like, oh no, I got to go be halfway on again, so I can make just enough to be comfortable for a minute and then go be on halfway again right. to be just comfortable enough to pay off these bills and then go be halfway on again versus going to be 100% on and then being able to actually rest after, like you said, three right. weeks. Most people are stuck in that middle area where they're never able to do both because they're refusing to do the first. They're a uh, fun. Yeah. <laughs> or um. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. We just team, coined a new team term. Half, they're team half hard. They're the team half hard, like Tyler said. <laughs> it's not team hustle hard. It's not team soft. It's team. It's team half hard. You, gotta, you might as well just be soft. You, you might. Got to put the whole ass into it. That's right. Because it's just more yeah. pressure. Yeah, you got to work. Yeah, nobody said. Nobody. Nobody's ever heard the saying, "Work your half ass off." I mean. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy, right? But that's what people do with their lives, man. And I am all about this year getting people. Did you take Wendy off here already? I am all about this year getting people to go all in on life, right? Hard. Dude, I'm going hard. So the topic here is January fog, and we just kind of put it plain and simple. It's time to get over it. Um, I am extremely empathetic um, for going into a new year after having put an insane amount of work in last year. Some of you didn't do that, but some of you did. <laughs> some of you did. <laughs> do not make the mistake that so many people make and have this fog that hangs over you for an entire month so that all of a sudden you look up and you're halfway through the quarter. And you're missing out on these key weeks towards that top gun ranking. Uh, I say this from experience. Last year in January, I had this fog over me and I wasted a month and didn't perform to my best, to the best of my abilities, and it affected my first quarter. It made me feel as though I was playing catch up in February, feel as though I was playing catch up in March because of my lack of performance in January. So don't let that January blues keep getting you down because it'll ruin the rest of this quarter. It'll ruin your chances of getting into Top Gun. And it honestly, it sets the pace and sets the tone for your entire year. Following up after what Tyler had to talk about coming out of the fog, no matter where you are, if you're a veteran or if you're brand hammer new, this is where the rubber hits the road. And guys, guess what? The phone does not weigh 20 pounds. Does not weigh 20 pounds. Sometimes it feels like it, but the first start to getting out of the fog or getting started is picking up the phone and being excited about it, right? This is the one script that must be followed 100% with 100% accuracy in what you say with every single word, okay? You've literally made, when you say thousands of calls, probably somewhere between eight and 10,000. Probably. Probably somewhere between eight and 10,000 inbound phone calls that Nathan has personally made. I mean, that's that's all you did with. I mean, you made phone calls nonstop when we were originally in the field. In Good the dungeon. God, in the dungeon. Yeah, that was a dungeon. Do you know that office was no bigger than what we're sitting in now for mm. our media room? Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty with funny. no windows. With no windows. No, it was in the dungeon. It was mold was everywhere. Mm -hmm. Dude, you had black lung coming out of there. Yeah, every day <laughs> you had to get rid of the black lung. But Nathan, he said he can count on both hands. So that's less than ten. As far as you have ten digits. I, honestly, hand, man, I'm being conservative. Digits. I think on one hand I can count those. Well, let's but, just say it's less than ten. So yeah. out of out of it, so maybe eight to ten thousand calls. Let's just cut it in half and say you only made four thousand. And and then and then let's take it from one hand to two hands. So less than ten times out of four thousand phone calls has he been shut down. Go ahead, man. I just can't. Yeah. People just don't get it. Yeah. When you're saying that, they don't understand. So the, the, the thought process on the phone when you're doing it is, is, again, the goal. Whatever your goal is that you have set, right? But remember, 
Less is best. I have timed this so many times when I start a phone call from start to finish and, and I hang up. The average call is gonna take a minute and 15 to a minute and 20 seconds. That's all the way through the whole phone call, right? You're gonna have questions that pop up. Anytime anyone does not schedule an initial brief is because they don't maintain control of the conversation. You have to learn to answer a question with a question. Then you always end with a question. Answer with a question, end with a question. And the secret question is, so sir, ma'am, is morning or afternoon best for a 10 minute brief? Is morning or afternoon best for a 10 minute brief? Finish it every single time. So answer with a question, end with a question. There are many, many things that you're gonna do in your business that are extremely important, okay? Very important. Sitting down and actually making the call is important. Sticking to the script and making the amount of calls that you've gotta to make to be successful in this is essential. So don't create something in your own mind that you think is important and sacrifice the essential because that is what makes us successful. It all starts with a phone call, period. All right, guys, that was incredible. And Nathan said something that I wanted to wrap into the closing remarks. One, when he was talking about questions, right? And he's talking about the secret, the secret and, and how we do that is that when they, when they, whatever they pipe off with, whatever the objection question is, whatever the objection statement is, whatever it is that their knee jerk reaction is, and you ask them, sir or ma'am, would AM, PM work better? Like you go right into the setting the appointment. And I was reminded of a, of a quote, um, you'll live your life at the level of the quality of the questions you ask yourself and others. And I heard that he who asks the questions is in control. You take control back with a question. So, so I end with this. This role, this role will put you in some uncomfortable situations, okay? If all I do is seek comfort in the morning, I get up in the morning and I don't wanna ruffle any feathers. I, I, I wanna maybe, maybe sit on my couch and just watch some TV and be comfortable and eat eat whatever I want to eat because it makes me feel good and and then I oh the gym that's that's uncomfortable I don't want to don't want to do the gym I want to I want to just sit here and 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 I don't want to I don't want to actually have to like invest in relationships with people because that I mean sometimes that can go south and you know, I'll just keep to myself and sometimes you know um, having to be involved with with risk that's uncomfortable right Risk in business, risk in relationships, risk in life, that's uncomfortable, I wanna do that, and, and that'll put me outside my comfort zone. And, and do you know where all those people are that they seek just pleasure like that? Eating a donut and a cup of coffee. Yeah, but where are they, where are they living? <laughs> uh, not where we live. Not where we live. Regretville. Regretville, <laughs> Regretville. <laughs> Some of you may get pissed at me for saying that, but I'm telling you, if, if you, life, will deliver pain if what you seek is pleasure. If you go ahead and seek the discomfort, seek the pain, life will deliver pleasure. Like literally two years ago, I had sought so much pain and so much discomfort that I found myself too comfortable because life just kept dumping it on me. Stuck me in a, in a million dollar home with pool and stuff and I can go, we can go where we wanna go and we can play like we wanna play. You can do whatever you wanna do now. Like you can. But if that's all we sought, guess what? Our life now has a ceiling. If that's all that we kept seeking, that's all we had seen. So for me, it started with, and this will sound crazy to you, but for me, it started with, with getting in cold, freezing cold water. I went to Vancouver and I got an ice water with this crazy nut from the Netherlands called Wim Hof. Isn't that crazy? It's the most painful thing ever. But I started getting in freezing cold water because I was like, I'm gonna create some discomfort. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden that opened my mind up and it opened me up physically. I started working out harder, started losing weight, started getting healthier, started started, started exploding this business. And so I was damn dead set on doing 60,000 policies last year and doubling our business. We doubled our business revenue wise, we didn't double it policy wise, but we did grow at about 60%, which is unheard of. And I'm proud of that. And But we're not stopping there. We're gonna do the same thing this year, right? And so what I'm telling everybody here in closing is start seeking a little discomfort. Don't look at those things and think that that's not, think that that's just something you have to get through, right? It's not just something you have to get through. Sit in it, 
feel it, it's great. It will help you grow. It, it stretches the rubber band of your life. And your rubber band, when it's stretched and 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 stretched, and stretched will never go back to as small as it was. You can't. Your life will be expanded. And so, and so I'm begging everybody to go and stretch the rubber band of their life. Get uncomfortable. It's not comfortable. It, it is downright no fucking fun to make 200 phone calls in a day. It's no fun. But do it until you love it. Love the discomfort until you can fall in love with the uncomfortable side of that. It's no fun to run just hammer down all day and do 10 to 15 initial meetings but you can do it it can be done and at the end of the day you'll go that was not comfortable but man i've got three months of work set up you know what i'm saying this is how it works tyler's done it nathan's done it i've done it amanda's done it man steven spielberg's starting to learn <laughs> i love it and uh and tj TJ, you've been putting in 18, 20 hour days, haven't you? Hey, is it is it comfortable to sit in Tyler's car all day and edit video that you've been recording? No! No, it's not comfortable. Eating out of gas stations and staying in the hotels that he picks, which are not comfortable. But man, you do it, right? Because life will deliver the pleasure. Like the universe will not be in debt to you. You may call it God, universe, I don't care what you call it. God will not be in debt to you. When you hammer down like this, I promise you life will deliver. So anyway, I hope that made some sense. We're done with the webinar. It's been 55 minutes. And, uh, and man, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you, the work that you do. It's time to get over the fog. It's time to lay the hammer down. It's time to make the phone calls. And it's time to flat out make this the best year.